Who trained you? Chris Benoit trained me. Wow. Yeah. How yeah. how did he become the guy handpicked to train you? Um, I don't know exactly how it happened. We always got along very, very well. Um, I know there's a lot of different reactions to the name Chris Benoit uh, over the years, uh, but my experience with him, um, he was really good to me, you know, and he took the ser- he, he took the business very seriously, um, sometimes maybe too seriously, um, but he not only trained me on moves, but he trained me uh, on just being tough. The first 15 or 20 minutes of every session was shoot fighting, like MMA training. What? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I trained with Shane McMahon, too. So when it, we were back in Stanford, Shane would come down and train me, so I'd have somebody in the ring with me. Uh, and then on the road, uh, Chris would, would train me. And uh, I'll never forget. I mean, he – and then I would get done with a match, and he would critique the match with me. And uh, he was just um, – I don't know. I, I, have, I have mixed emotions when I talk about him. Sure. You know, so. Yeah, I just – I feel like up until that last weekend of his life, when you look at his entire in-ring career, one of the greatest of all time mm-hmm. with his technical ability. But he's also an example that I used to use. Obviously, you don't want to use him as an example very often. But I used to tell young kids because I ran this room on the road called the pre-tapes room, and they would come in and, and try out their character or whatever. And I tell kids all the time, I don't care how good you are in the ring. Chris Benoit never got to his potential because he couldn't talk. Mm. He was never, he was kind of an introvert and he, he wasn't comfortable on the mic and he let his wrestling speak for him. So he was a great, I, I would never call him a mid card guy cause that would be disrespectful, but he was great at being like that seventh match on the card. Mm. Cause you're going to get a really good match before the really big stars mm. come out in match nine and match 10. Mm. Um, so I, I used to use him a, as an example a lot because you have to be able to do everything. But as far as in ring, I would put him and Kurt Angle, you know, maybe one two. And then when you look at the match that they had together, well, they had many matches together. But I think it was the Royal Rumble. Was that? I think it was. It was one of the greatest matches in WWE history. No doubt. He, so good. There's only been a few times where I've gone out onto the floor to watch something, and his comeback. Um, at Madison Square Garden, along with Triple H's comeback at Madison Square Garden, it was different times, oh, but yeah. mm-hmm. um, was amazing, absolutely amazing.